Hi. We would like to present you our project, Mobile Tourism Dua. This project involves lecturers from Academy of Contemporary Islamic Studies, ASIS, University Technology Mara, Kelantan. The project leader is Zanaira followed by other team members. This project is mainly about mobile tourism doer. The idea of developing this application comes from the increasing tourism and holiday activities among Malaysians. Introduction Islam teaches its people to pray especially when traveling, whether for long or short journeys. Muslim tourists want a service that allows them to travel without leaving the command of Allah in addition to exposure to Tarbiya through useful information. The Islamic tourism style has opened a new dimension in the existing tourism framework even though it has been explained by the Quran. This innovation is intended to showcase the appropriate prayer practices to be introduced to the community as well as Muslim tourists, in addition to being one of the guidelines along the journey that can be valued as worship. This study is very relevant in introducing Islam and should be given serious attention in elevating it in the eyes of the world. The problem statement in this research. First, there are no specific guideline or mobile applications designed in the form of technology application software to help the Muslim community practice prayer or dua while traveling. Second, there are difficulties in understanding and remembering prayers while traveling. The objectives of Mobile Tourism Dua are First, to present the using of technology as a tools and guidance to the Muslim community when traveling. And second, to make it easier for the Muslim community to practice Dua and make tourism an act of worship. Novelty and Uniqueness Number 1. A form of application that is exciting, entertaining, up-to-date, and informative. Number 2. Easily known as an application of worship and Sharia compliant. Number 3. Orientated as formula based according to the principles of Islam and sources from the Quran and Hadith. Number 4. Methods of prayers or dua that are appropriate to the situation can be applied throughout the journey. The last one. Easy to download and apply everywhere and registered with the intellectual property right or also known as IPR based on Rubu, UITM. Importance to the community The first one is the increase the interest and attention of the Muslim community on the importance of prayer practices required in Islam. The second one is to provide opportunities for Islamic scholars to diversify educational methods to all levels of society. The third one is to increase the understanding and awareness of the Muslim community about the benefits of praying while traveling. And the last one is to facilitate the process of understanding and remembering prayers when traveling. Commercial Potential We have some attention to purchase from First, all domestic and foreign Muslim tourists. Second, the Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture and Tourism Centers of each state. Third, Islamic religious institutions like JAKM, Department of Islamic Development Malaysia, the State Islamic Religious Council. Contents of Mobile Tourism Dua The practice of prayer or dua when traveling is proposed in Islam. Prayer when leaving the house. Prayer when starting a journey riding a vehicle. Always recite zakir on the journey. Prayer when spending the night somewhere else. Prayer when staying in a house or staying somewhere else. How to use mobile application. Step 1. Open link to mobile tourism doer. Step 2. Choose between six doer provided according to the appropriate situation. Step 3. Listen to or recite the selected doer together. Doa ketika memulakan perjalanan. Alhamdulillah. سبحان الذي سخر لنا هذا وما كنا له مقرنين وإنا إلى ربنا لمنقلبون سبحانك لا إله إلا أنت قد ظلمت نفسي فاغفر لي And don't forget, intention of worship. This research has been presented to the International Webinar Pondocks Day and Islamic Tourism.
it will be published in Islamic and tourism books. Our research has received direct recognition from the of Islamic Tourism Center. In conclusion, the practice of praying before and when we travel should be promoted as much as possible so that the benefits can be obtained by all parties. We can suggest to airline companies in Malaysia to start the journey of travelers with prayers to bring blessings, safety, and peace in the journey. The nature of dua is also a form of worship so that Allah advises and commands us to pray to Him in our lives. Islam encourages its people to always pray to Allah wherever they are. When all the travel guidelines recommended in Islam are followed, then the journey receives blessings and benediction from Allah.